In this video, we're going to focus on individual patterns and the words that are used with them. Because in general, patterns are restricted in the words that occur with them, and the sets of words used with any pattern are limited in meaning. But we do have to remember that there's no one-to-one -one relation between the pattern and the meaning, and some patterns are very productive. The set of words used with them increase over time. So whenever we look at a pattern, it's a snapshot in time of the words that occur with it. We're going to look in detail at one pattern, the VN of N pattern. And we can identify different groups of verbs occurring with this pattern. Here's one group, taking something away. This might mean cure someone of a disease or rob someone of something. And if you look at the screen, you can see a list of some of the verbs that are in this group. With the same pattern, we have another group that's to do with giving information. So it might be notify someone of something or warn someone of something. And if you look at the screen, you can see a selection of the verbs in that group. Our third group is to do with saying that someone has done a crime or hasn't done a crime. So it might be accuse someone of a crime or clear someone of a crime. And on the screen you can see some of the verbs in that group. And finally, we just have a group of verbs that don't fit in any of the other groups. Things like ask or expect or hear or see or think a lot of someone, assure someone of something, avail oneself of something, make something of something, or require something of someone. All of those groups of words occur with that same verb pattern. Now let's look at a noun pattern, nouns followed by a two infinitive. And we have 12 groups. The first group is aim, ambition, craving, desire, and other nouns. Group two is about appointments and arrangements. Group three is about promises and pledges. Group four is about official things like offers, proposals, suggestions. Group five is about attempting to do something. And group six about ability or capacity. Group seven is about authority and freedom. And group eight about asking for something, an appeal, a call, a demand. Group 9 is about obligation and responsibility. Group 10, cause and reason. Group 11, predisposition or tendency. And group 12, claim and pretension. More information about grammar patterns is available on this channel or go to the grammar section of collinsdictionary.com.